Introduction Can anyone tell me what is mathematical induction? It is a special way of proving things. Well said, but what kind of things? By using mathematical induction, we can prove the statements involving natural numbers. Absolutely correct. Do you know that mathematical induction is a very important tool in mathematics? Today we will learn about mathematical induction. Come, let's see. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Prove the statements involving natural numbers Find the inequality involving natural numbers Motivation Mathematical induction is a special method used to prove the statements for natural numbers. Let's have a better idea. In the featuring clip, we push the first domino. Then the next one automatically falls and we see that all the dominoes fall. It shows the induction. An inductive set is a set capital X with the property that for every X belongs to capital X, the successor X dash of X is also an element of capital X. One major example of an inductive set is the set of natural numbers. The set of natural numbers is denoted by capital N, the principle of mathematical induction. If PN is a statement, N belongs to capital N such that the basis show the first statement is true that is, for N is equal to 1, P1 is true. The inductive step, if the statement is true for N is equal to K, then the statement is also true for n is equal to k plus 1. That is, truth of p k implies the truth of p k plus 1. Where k is positive integer, then by the principle of mathematical induction, the statement p n is true for all n belongs to capital N, the principle of mathematical induction. Working Rules to Apply Principle of Mathematical Induction Step 1. Show that the given statement is true for n is equal to 1. Step 2. Assume that the statement is true for n is equal to k. Step 3. Using the assumption made in Step 2, show that the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Step 4. This completes the principle of mathematical induction. Conclude that the given statement is true for all n belongs to capital N, the principle of mathematical induction. Important results 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube up to n cube is equal to n square into n plus 1 square by 4. Example Prove by using principle of mathematical induction that n raised to power 5 by 5 plus n raised to power 3 by 3 plus 7n by 15 is a natural number for all n belongs to capital M. Solution Let f of n is equal to n raised to power 5 by 5 plus n raised to power 3 by 3 plus 7n by 15. n belongs to capital N Step 1. Let n is equal to 1. f of 1 is equal to 1 by 5 plus 1 by 3 plus 7 by 15 is equal to 15 by 15 is equal to 1. n belongs to capital N. The result is true for n is equal to 1. Step 2. Let the result be true for n is equal to k. So, f of k is equal to k raised to power 5 by 5 plus k raised to power 3 by 3 plus 7k by 15 
belongs to M. Name it as 1. Step 3. Let N is equal to K plus 1. So, F of K plus 1 is equal to K plus 1 raised to power 5 by 5 plus K plus 1 raised to power 3 by 3 plus 7 into K plus 1 by 15. Now, by calculating it, we get F of K plus 1 is equal to K raised to power 5 by 5 plus K raised to power 3 by 3 plus 7K by 15 plus K raised to power 4 plus 2 into K raised to power 3 plus 3 into K raised to power 2 plus 2K plus 1 belongs to M. The first part in above equation is in N by 1 and second part is in N because K belongs to N. So, the result is true for N is equal to K plus 1. Step 4. By principle of mathematical induction, N raised to power 5 by 5 plus N raised to power 3 by 3 plus 7N by 15 belongs to M for all N belongs to capital N. Example. Prove that for N belongs to capital N, 10 raised to power N plus 3 into 4 raised to power N plus 2 plus 5 is divisible by 9. Solution. Let F of N is equal to 10 raised to power N plus 3 into 4 raised to power N plus 2 plus 5. N belongs to capital N. Step 1. Let n is equal to 1. f of 1 is equal to 10 raised to power 1 plus 3 into 4 raised to power 1 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 10 plus 192 plus 5 is equal to 207 is equal to 9 into 23. So, f of 1 is divisible by 9. The result is true for n is equal to 1. Step 2. Let the result be true for n is equal to k. So, f of k is equal to 10 raised to power k plus 3 into 4 raised to power k plus 2 plus 5 is divisible by 9. Let 10 raised to power k plus 3 into 4 raised to power k plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 9m. Name it as 1. Step 3. Let n is equal to k plus 1. So, f of k plus 1 is equal to 10 raised to power k plus 1 plus 3 into 4 raised to power k plus 1 plus 2 plus 5. By calculating it, we get f of k plus 1 is equal to 9 into 10m minus 32 into 4 raised to power k minus 5. So, f of k plus 1 is divisible by 9, that is the result is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Step 4. By principle of mathematical induction, 10 raised to power n plus 3 into 4 raised to power n plus 2 plus 5 is divisible by 9 for n belongs to capital N. Example. Prove 3 raised to power n is greater than 2 raised to power n for all natural numbers n. Solution. Let f of m is equal to 3 raised to power n greater than 2 raised to power n. n belongs to capital N. Step 1. Let n is equal to 1. f of 1 such that 3 raised to power 1 greater than 2 raised to power 1 is equal to 3 is greater than 2. So, f of 1 is true. Step 2. Let the result be true for n is equal to k. So, f of k such that 3 raised to power k greater than 2 raised to power k. Step 3. Let n is equal to k plus 1. So, f of k plus 1 such that 3 raised to power k plus 1 
greater than 2 raised to power k plus 1. LHS of f of k plus 1 is equal to 3 raised to power k plus 1 is equal to 3 raised to power k into 3 is greater than 2 raised to power k into 2. That is, 2 raised to power k plus 1 is equal to RHS of f of k plus 1. So, the result is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Step 4. By principle of mathematical induction, 3 raised to power n greater than 2 raised to power n for n belongs to capital N. Did you know? The word induction was used by the English mathematician John Wallace. Blaise Pascal, the French mathematician, develops the principle of mathematical induction. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Mathematical induction is a special method used to prove the statements for natural numbers. An inductive set is a set capital X with the property that for every X belongs to capital X, the successor X dash of X is also an element of capital X. One major example of an inductive set is the set of natural numbers. The set of natural numbers is denoted by capital N, principle of mathematical induction. If PN is a statement N belongs to capital N, such that the basis show the first statement is true, that is, for N is equal to 1, P1 is true. The inductive step, if the statement is true for N is equal to K, then the statement is also true for N is equal to K plus 1, that is, truth of PK implies the truth of PK plus 1, where K is a positive integer. Then by the principle of mathematical induction, the statement PN is true for all N belongs to capital N 